Today we are going to learn second chapter parallel lines. Now what are parallel lines? The lines in the same plane which do not intersect each other are called parallel lines. So in this figure line M, this is symbol of parallel, is parallel to line M. Next term is transversal. If a line intersects given two lines in two distinct points, then that line is called a transversal of those two lines. Here line T is a transversal. Now these two parallel lines, when transversal intersect these parallel lines, in all there are eight angles are formed. Now in this diagram, line L and M and line T is a transversal. Now what are the corresponding angles? If the arms are on the transversal, if the arms on the transversal of a pair of angles are in the same direction and the other arms are on the same sides of the transversal, then the pair is called corresponding angle. So this angle your pairs, there are in all four pairs of corresponding angle on same side of the transversal. So, first angle A, this corresponds to angle E, these are the corresponding first pair. Angle D and angle H are corresponding angle. Angle C and angle G is the corresponding angle. And angle B and angle F is corresponding angles. Now next is interior angles. The pairs of angles which are on the same side of the transversal and inside the given lines. The pairs of angles which are on the same side of the transversal and inside the two lines, then those lines are called interior angles. So here there are two pairs of interior angles, angle C and angle F in the first pair interior angle and second pair is angle D and angle E is the second pair of interior angles. Now pairs of alternate angles. Now what are alternate angles? The pairs of alternate angles which are on opposite sides of the transversal and their arms on the transversal show the opposite direction is called pairs of alternate angles. Now there are Two pairs, first pair is pair of alternate interior and pair of alternate exterior angles. So pair of alternate interior angles are angle C is interior angle, angle C, angle C and angle E. These are the first pair, this is the first pair and second pair of alternate interior angle is angle D and angle F. Now alternate exterior angles are angle B and angle H. Angle B and angle H first pair of alternate exterior angle and angle B and angle angle A. Angle A and angle G is the Next pair of alternate exterior angles. Now properties of angles formed by two parallel lines and a transversal. Now we have line L is parallel to line line L is parallel to line M and line T is the transversal. There are in all eight pairs of angles. So property, first property, when two parallel lines are intersected by transversal, then vertically opposite angles are vertically opposite angles are congruent. So which are the vertically opposite angles? Angle A is congruent to angle C, then angle B is congruent to angle D, then angle E is congruent to angle G and angle F is congruent to angle H. 
vertically opposite angles are common. Next, second property is corresponding angles are also congruent. When two parallel lines are intersected by transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle E. Second pair, angle B. Angle B is congruent to angle F. Third pair, angle D is congruent to angle H. Angle D is congruent to angle H. And last fourth pair, angle C is congruent to angle G. Next, third property, interior angles are supplementary. When two parallel lines are intersected by transfer the interior angles. Here, these are the interior angles. Angle D plus major angle E is equal to 180 degree. And angle C plus angle F is also 180 degree. Next is alternate, interior alternate angles. Interior alternate angles are congruent. So, interior angle and alternate angles, angle C is congruent to angle E and angle D, second pair is congruent to angle F. Interior alternate angles are congruent. Fifth property is exterior alternate angles are also congruent. So, here exterior alternate angles are angle B is congruent to angle H and angle A is congruent to angle G. And when here the these angles, angles in linear pair, whatever angles in linear pair, they are supplementary. So angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. So these are the properties of two angles formed by two parallel lines and the transversal. All of you write down all these points in your notebook.